Yo, Welcome home. I did something while you were gone today. Oops. You have to promise you won't get mad. No promises. What'd you do? It's a surprise. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. We just got home from a little adventure with the kids. We uh, took the kids up to Kansas City to Great Wolf Lodge and we had a blast, but we are back home now, back to reality, back to farm chores. So Gary is away to work and he has no idea I'm doing this. Shh, don't tell him. But it is time to move those baby chicks out of the shop. They are getting bigger and bigger and bigger right before our eyes. And so we have a spot to put them, but we need something to uh, feed them. Um, instead of going to the local uh, farm store and buying something, I was watching Brandon over at Rustic Woodworking Family and he gave me a brilliant idea. We have scrap pieces of wood left over from the most overbuilt chicken coop on uh, YouTube. I'm sure you guys have seen that. If not, you need to go check it out. I'll put an I card up here to go check out that video. So we have lots of wood left over, random things laying around the shop. So, inspired by Brandon, I'm going to make him a feeder. You can see my shirt right here uh, that Brandon and Stephanie, they gave everyone at, here at Walker Farm Fame a t-shirt when we were over at Keeping It Duchess Pig Roast, and we truly appreciate them. Most genuine people that we have met in a very long time. Our friend Brandon and Stephanie, they are at 6.99K as I'm making this video. Head over there, guys. Get them to 7K. By the time I put this out, they might already be to 7K. Get them to the next milestone. I promise you, you guys will love what they do. Very genuine, real people. What you see is what you get. I promise you, if I called right now and said, Brandon and Stephanie, we need help, they would drop whatever they were doing. They would drive the three, four hours to our house and do whatever we needed help with. So um, I'm not just saying that, so you'll go check them out. That is my honest opinion and that's just who they are head over there all the information down in the description to check them out go get them to their next milestone we would forever be grateful so like i said i was inspired by brandon to make something i don't make stuff gary's the one that does that kind of stuff around here but he's at work i really want to surprise him um i think i can do this and it's it's a little bit different than the ones that brandon made for his quail but it's the same idea same concept and we just got some scrap lumber if it's a flop, didn't cost me nothing. So um, let's get into this build and see what I can do. I got my glasses, safety first, got my tape measure, and we'll figure it out from there because I really have no idea what I'm doing. So like I said, I don't hardly ever do these types of things. Gary's the builder, but this is the width I want. So I've set my blade where it needs to be. I'm gonna cut these down and then we'll go from there. So I got uh, all my boards cut the right width. Now I'm gonna probably just make the, um, this length since I think it's the smallest and we'll just build our box from there. All right, I made me a little spot to uh, measure and cut and all that fun stuff. So this one's a little over 16 inches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make all of these 16 inches long. I think will will work. Like I said, Gary usually does this type of stuff, so don't judge me. If I can uh, get this done by the time he gets home and surprise him, I'm going to be pretty happy.
watching my mom make and build lots of things, that also gives me confidence. When you have a uh, woman in your life that is an awesome influence on you to show you that women can do anything, makes you feel like you can do anything. What'd you just say, Mazzy? You building? Mazzy just said me building is a bad idea. Okay, so I was kind of putting it together to see and I ran into some problems. One, I didn't think about it needing ends. Luckily, I have these leftovers. So I just need to cut them to size. <laughs> it's a little not straight, but I'll work on that. Also, I didn't think about my top piece needs to be wider to fit over the top. So I'm gonna have to cut a new top piece, which is okay because I have more wood. So like I told you in the beginning, I don't really know what I'm doing. All I know is we have a lot of leftover lumber that is free. Um, it is beautiful outside. I need to move my baby chicks and Gary's at work. So why not have some fun? So let me cut down these end pieces where they need to be. Let me grab another piece and make it the top piece as wide as it needs to be. Then we'll check back because y'all don't want to watch all that. Well, I think while I figure out these specifics, is a good time to show you our trip to Great Wolf Lodge. Enjoy. We arrived. We're here. We're here. Mazzy, are you excited? Yes, I got my owl backpack. Look at that sign. What does it say? Great Wolf Lodge. Ransom, are you excited? All right. I'm going to bring my sword. Ranger, you excited? Yeah. How about your buddy Joey? Is he excited? Yeah. Everyone's excited. So we're going to try to show you guys around a little bit and um, see if this is a place you might be interested in going. We got a great deal for uh, the winter special. So let's go check it out. Hi. Can you wait? Merry Christmas. Hello. Ransom, look. Who's that? <laughs> hi there. You say hi? Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let's head inside. Yes, What do y'all think? It's gonna be fun. We saw Santa as soon as we got here. Is that pretty cool? Yeah. Maybe he disappeared. Maybe he disappeared. <laughs> All right, you guys go look out this window over here. Oh my. What is the window? That window right there. Oh my. Oh my. What do you think about that? Oh, I like this. This is the middle one, and that's a big one. That's for last, guys. Guys, that's for last, and this is gonna be last. <laughs> Put your mask over your nose. Yeah, that's, that's for me. So we got checked in to our uh, suite and we all got these little cool wristbands. Even the kids got them. Uh, Cassie and I can use ours to buy stuff so we don't have to carry a wallet around with us. We can just swipe our wrist and buy stuff. And the kids all work for a entry, entry to the door. Now pull the handle. Got it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What the kids? Wait, oh my goodness. So we got a back patio where you can, if it was hot outside, you could watch kids swim outside. Then we got a fireplace and a TV. Then this is gonna make out into a bed for ransom. Gary and I's bed, not very big, but it'll work. Alright kids, you got any lights in here? No, my bed's right here. Just the TV? Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. So they have bunk beds on my one bed. side. That's Mazzy's, that's Joey's, and that's mine. And then a single layer on the other, and Alvin and the chipmunks? No, that's no. the Great Wolf Lodge people. 
That's oh, it's pretty cool, huh? All right, so that's about it. We got a mini fridge. So yeah, we better put our milk in there that we brought. So we brought some drinks. Let's see if it's cold. We should have brought popcorn. I did bring popcorn. Oh, we got popcorn for the microwave. Don't you know? I think of everything. You guys like it? Oh, like yeah. it, Ranger? You like it, Mazzy? Do you like it? Definitely. On a scale of one to ten, what is it? Can it be a scale to one to one hundred? Scale from one to one hundred. What is it? Oh, 100. That's 150. Almost like a 10. Now to the swimming pool. Sir, where's your glasses? Here. Oh, where's your glasses? We just got in here. We already lost glasses. Mommy. Yeah, we didn't have them on. Mommy. Oh, there they are. Put them back on until we go swimming, okay? Mommy. Okay, Wait. Mazzy, I'm coming hey, to get it. Hey, tell us, say, Ransom, say, subscribers, I'm wearing my glasses. Subscribers, I'm wearing my glasses. All right. This is my bed. Here's your thing, No, you. Uh, Ranger, what do you think? Cool. Is it but pretty cool? But it's loud. It is loud, isn't it? Yes. I'm surprised how loud it is. You like it, Ransom? Yes. All right, listen. Why don't you and Sissy try to stay close to each other and watch out for each other, and then Joey and Ranger will stay close to each other, okay? Sound good? Right by him, Maggie. Say bye, Baba. Almost, Joey.
my dad is coming, I'm gonna be in trouble because he still thinks I'm not old enough to play with power tools. So be back with you. Uh, I forgot that Gary had to pre-drill um, holes to start these screws because this, um, shoot, what kind was it? Oak? I think so. Oak is just so darn tough that you got to pre-drill them to get through them. So um, I got one side done while me and my dad was here talking and stuff. And um, I made a couple of boo-boos because I wasn't paying attention. But it's free wood. It's a chicken feeder. Not a big deal. I don't care what it looks like. So let's do this one. There we go. I'd move you around to different camera angles and all that and make it to where I don't have to hunch over before you see me. But I really don't want this to take all day. I got other stuff I gotta do. And I think all y'all love us enough that you're not here for the camera angles. Okay, so this is what we got. You could uh, just put, I got the ends cut. I don't think I told you that. You can just put these ends on here and have like a little trough feeder, but I want to uh, make a top on it to hopefully make it um, waterproof. So I, uh, oh, well, kids, you better be nice. Oh, they're not arguing. They're playing pretend. So um, I made everything flush and even and all that a second ago. Not going to tell you how I did that because you guys will probably say I did it the wrong way. <coughs> sawdust some of y'all would say that's unsafe plus my mama watches this channel and i'd get a phone call from her so just know i got everything flush and straight and you don't have to know how so let's put these ends on there i'm gonna have to pre-drill those holes as well and then we'll talk about the top okay so i just found this board laying in there um i told you that i made the top too skinny i wasn't thinking about needing to be wider than the rest so let's see if it fits or if it's long enough. <laughs> it's the perfect width. I just got really lucky that it was the perfect width because <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Cause I, uh, I just got really lucky. So I'm gonna have to cut some off. Flush there. Take my pencil. Boom, just gotta trim it and we're good to go. Finally, something works out around here. So Brandon made a box like this and then it had um, wood that went up to fill it. But um, I'm just gonna have this setting out in the middle of the pen. So my thought is I found these hinges in there. Hopefully Gary's not planning on using them for anything. I wanna put these hinges on the back side, and then I'll just open it like this to fill up the feed. And then you say, Cassie, how are they going to get the feed out? Well, goes back to my quill feed that I made just like keeping at Dutch's. Automatic quill feed that has saved tons of money from them wasting feed and all that. I'm going to use this, which is this one's bigger than I used on the quill feeder, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to put a hole here, put a hole here. They'll just stick their heads in and eat it. So... You get all muddy? No, well, let, are you, the, let, the, let the people see? Yeah. Well, the most important thing, are you having fun? Yes. All right. Making potions, but not with getting dirty. You made potions? Are you right now? Yeah. Okay, can I show you? Oh my, all over your arm. And you still got your Great With Lodge bracelet. I got the hinges on. And uh, I think I was hitting a knot or something in some of these. It wasn't taken very good, but this will totally work. Turn it around and show you the front. Opens and closed just fine. 
And so, like I said, I'm going to use this, whatchamacallit thing. When I made the quill feeder, you guys told me what this is called. A whatchamacallit. And I'm going to put the holes here and here. Should I put one, two, three? I think I might put one, two, three. Um, and then I'll fee fill it up from the top. See how it goes. Just gotta figure out how high or low I want those holes. Be right back. It's gonna take me a second. All right, I think I got the spot. Safety. And here goes nothing. Oh. This is gonna dance all over the place. Is this made for wood? Maybe this isn't made for wood. Let's try one more time. I think I need that other paddle doohickey that I tried using on the um, quill feeder. And then I switched to this. This is probably better on pipe or on uh, PVC pipe and stuff. All y'all that's been yelling at the camera, if that's the case, I figured it out. Well, my battery went dead. Not sure when I lost you, but... To the rescue is our blaver. It is a solar um, powered battery power bank. And um, our friends over at blaver sent it to us to try out. Um, it's been a few months. We use it like crazy. I just had to hunt it down because Gary had taken it deer hunting last time he went and I found it in the truck. I looked in the hunting bag, found it in the truck. So um, the awesome thing about this is I can set it out here I got my phone plugged into it. It's charging itself and it's charging my phone at the exact same time. These are down in our um, Amazon store, which is linked down in our description. Awesome, awesome Christmas presents for yourself or someone else who is outdoors a lot or uses a lot of batteries. Um, it has lots of different things you can hook up to. It has a compass. This is the LED light right here that is super bright. And then it also has a... Uh, Oh, this is the flashlight. This is the compass. So it's hard to hold your phone and show that all at the same time. But it's a blaver. Absolutely awesome. We love it. Highly recommend it. Okay. Uh, I went and got this doohickey. I think it's called a paddle bit. A paddle thingamabobber. I think that's what I need for the wood. Not the other thing. We'll see. Like I said, that is some, let me move you over here. That is some tough, tough wood. So I had to put it down on the ground to get some more leverage and for it to not like, uh, what sort I'm looking for? Getting a bind, but we got it cut out. Um, I'll take some sandpaper and sand it up a little bit, but it's a pretty good little hole. I think that'll be big enough for them. So I'm gonna put one here, one here. Then I have three places to go in and eat. I like it. Um, it almost just looks like a birdhouse, but I'm going to put the feet in here. They should be able to go through and get it. If these holes aren't quite big enough, because that one was smaller than the one I was going to use originally, I'll have to make them a little bigger. Um, so we'll just see. We'll mess around with it. All us fails, I'll take the top off and they can reach in there and eat, but I was just trying to keep it out of the weather with this um, top on it. So I'm happy with it. Like I said, guys, Go over, check out Rustic Woodwork and Family. They are doing so much stuff over there. They're about to start their uh, new farm, new homestead. They're in the process of that, but right now they're doing what they can um, in town. And they've recently got into deer hunting. Brandon used to deer hunt, but hadn't in a while, and he is doing it with his family. Absolutely love seeing the things that they are doing as a family, learning, growing, and they're sharing it with all of us. So head on over there, help them meet that next milestone. We'll truly appreciate it, and so will they. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed in the genuine family that you meet.
All right, so I dipped their beaks in the water. I just dipped a couple because once a couple start drinking it, the rest will follow suit. And then I uh, showed a couple where the feed is. I'm just going to see if they'll find the feed. I have one more of these Renacoop waterers right here that I'm going to put in here. And that'll work for now till we can get something else. Those waters are awesome. I love them. Um, just now that they're bigger, they drink more water. And since we're getting into freezing rain, I mean, uh, since we're getting into freezing weather, we need um, a bowl like our chickens have. A big rubber bowl is what we use during the winter time. So um, this will work perfect for now. Uh, if you see around um, some weird looking dirt, we put Hank in here a little bit um, when we when the um, concrete guys were here and stuff. And he dug some holes. So I have an abundance of rabbit poop. And so I filled buckets um, up with rabbit poop, poured them in the holes to uh, fill in the holes. So guess it'll work. What do you make, Ranger? A chicken feeder. Ooh, those are those boards I cut up for that project we're gonna do, Ranger. I'm gonna cut them up and put holes in them. Whatever. I'm joking. Looks good.